All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers, step 22. So if you don't know, a function is a piece of code that can take an input and it perform a specific action. The CSS RGB function accepts values or arguments for red, green, and blue and produces a color. So basically, uh, if you see something, any kind of words or numbers or whatever, and then right after it is something in parentheses, usually comma separated values in parentheses, or maybe even just one value in parentheses, uh, in a set of parentheses, it's usually almost always a function, if not always a function. Uh, each red, green, and blue value is a number from zero to 255. Uh, zero means that there's zero percent of that color in black, and is black, okay. Uh, 255 means that there's 100% of that color. All right, cool. Uh, in the dot one CSS rule, we're gonna replace the color keyword red with the RGB function. For the RGB function, we're gonna set the value of red to 255 and the value of green to zero and the value of blue to zero. All right, so we're going to change this from red to RGB, and then inside of this, uh, inside of these parentheses for this function, the arguments are going to be 255 for the red argument, zero for the uh, green argument, and zero for the blue argument. And you see right now it's a uh, uh, red, right? Now I don't know what the actual function is that does this or what the guts of it is, but it's definitely making it red. So there we go. Uh, we can check it. Looks good and submit it. Uh, now we're on to step 23 and uh, we'll see you next time.